So that's the end of those. We fired at him from here as well, didn't we? And... Now oh, we can just reform. Problem it's another way to get them to stop firing, of course. Why are they... Oh, crikey, they're walking. So sensitive, this um, double click. Uh, it can be a bit of a nuisance sometimes. Okay, now I'm wondering if I can come round the side here and be able to engage his uh, artillery there without being shot at. I wonder if it's worth a go. Well, we can at least fire at the building without him be able, being able to return fire. Um, because obviously he's got he's just got infantry in there and they, they'll have a range which is much less than my dragoons have got. Now, you see how he's going to drive my cavalry back into here. What I don't want is... is for him to be hitting me with uh, grape shot close up. Well, he's only got three left, so I'm going to pull back. There's no way three men are ever going to come back into the game. So I'm going to pull back from there. Line up my dragoons here. See if I can get a shot in from there against that artillery. I'm hoping that his grape shot is a shorter range. Oh, they're idle, aren't they? I think that probably means they can't quite reach. I'll have a look. Yeah, they can't quite reach in there, can they? I need to be about. What does it look like? About here, do you think? About there. Yep. Well, those three, forget about that. Well, there's only two now, actually, isn't there? But we'll forget about those. Long battle, I'm afraid. I might have to um, reduce this one in places if I can. It's really because I'm being a bit boring, I know, but I don't want that artillery to have any effect on me. OK, he's decided to withdraw his artillery now. That's good news for us. Let's see if we can get these light dragoons to fire on that building. Still too far away, aren't we? OK, let's, move, let's get a bit closer. Yep, take them up to there. Uh, I I want to make sure his um, artillery don't get away. So I'll just pull some troops around the back here. I'm not going to charge them directly at... Eh? Not doing anything at the moment. What are they doing? Right, okay. The idea is to keep them away from the building, because I don't want to get shot at from the building when I can't return fire. It's still, even still, not close enough. So let's get a little bit closer, shall we? Okay. Train the artillery on here now, I suppose. Might as well have something to fire at. Now then. I'm hoping we can get these before they get off the battlefield. I suspect we can. Hoping I haven't got too many... I, I, I've reduced the um, the overall effects in the game, so I'm hoping I haven't got too many sort of bangs and bumps that you get when you select units anymore. Just turn my speakers up now just to see if I can hear it or not. I'm hoping that if I can't then you can't. There are two, no guns, but there are two men left. I'm not sure you can even crew a gun with two, so I think they're out of the game anyway, really. Don't tell me I need to be even closer. I do. Blast. Come on. What I don't want to do is receive fire back. I don't know who they're firing at. They're actually firing at those, would you believe? Goodness, I had no idea we were close enough to do that. Okay. Right, okay, now there should be some horse here somewhere. Where are we? Here we are. Oh no, they're infantry. Here we are. No, we're going to continue, I'm afraid. Oh, we're going to chase those away. Ah, now a strange thing's happened. Can't see his... Ah, there they are. This is infantry. Right, any horse that isn't doing anything, they are going to be doing now, including the general. Everybody's going in there. Um, I'm going to limber up the artillery, take them off auto-fire, limber them up, 
fix that one. Take my photo fire, limber them up. Again, I know I've said it before, but it's paranoia. I've had problems before with artillery continuing to engage with fire when I don't want them to anymore. Okay, are these? No one thinks firing at these men when I'm charging in against them. Oh, do you see that? I just saw another howitzer shell go off there. Now I know it's been a bit boring in terms of infantry, but it's better to take ten rounds of, of ball fire than just one round of grape, so... I might well have been a bit dull to watch because of that. Yeah, it gives you an idea how to manage masses of troops when the enemy hasn't got a hope in hell anyway. <laughs> just in case anybody <laughs> needs to know how to do that. <laughs> That looks as though it can still fire, doesn't it? Look at that. Hold it limbered, thank you very much. Not firing. Still got 27 men left. But not for long. Don't know if you can see it, but that's a wheat field he's going through there. I don't know if I've killed the sound too much or not. Um, I've just turned it up again now. I hear my voice echoing like, like mad now, so... Uh, so I'm really not sure what you can hear of my voice now. You'd think, wouldn't you, I could experiment with just a small skirmish and stuff, and I did do that before I started this campaign. But for some reason it seems to alter. One of the options is um, a wide um, sound um, variation, um, which my computer seems to work best on. Uh, and it's that sort of range of different sounds that seems to cause this, you know, sudden not being able to hear anything. We lost um, 104 men, he lost 395. Um, he didn't have a lot to start with though, did he really? 408. Um, so we only killed 341 of his. But anyway, a substantial number out of the way, I think. Now on that occasion, he didn't seem to get anybody away at all. Having got this far in India, I think it might well be worth us going a little bit further. We might be able to get some resources from the new place that we capture. Gives us another place to defend, of course. But, we shall see, we've got some dragoons in here, so that might help us. We're going to go for Hyderabad. Now, looking around, do you remember? This is the place that's got most of his troops in. He can't take them out of there because um, he's so close to rebellion, it's untrue. His troops down here are too small for him to have any effect, really, against my city down here as well. So, uh, I feel in quite a strong position now. Oops, I don't know why I've gone all over the place there, but anyway, here we go. That's all he's got in there. He's got um, Phylocon citizenry, Phylocon populace and armed populace. He's got some um, some lancers, which would be quite handy for him, and some Sikh musketeers, but they're coming on as reinforcements behind him now, I'm afraid, so um, he will get into position, I imagine. Okay, this is the lineup. I'm going for um, a place where I can get so that he can't fire back at me, you know, behind this bit of a ridge here. Hope that works for me. Um, give them the explosive shells because they'll be nice um, against his walls. And the idea, of course, is to clear his walls of any troops that he's got on there that are going to cause me any problems. Um, unfortunately, he is going to bring up uh, any. Um, uh, what, what were they called? Burger Lancers or something? Let's just highlight on here and see what we've got. So, I will need some cavalry. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just take that, those dragoons off, wherever they are. Yep, and we'll have the horse, the light cavalry, just behind.